the Salesians have taken a very uh, bold step to approve a policy on prevention of sexual harassment, exploitation and abuse, them being a religious community, but a religious community that is serving young people. So they took a very bold step, one, to approve the policy and put this policy in place acknowledging that you know um, the institution brings together quite a number of people with different abilities and therefore also recognizing the, the vulnerabilities uh, in terms of sexual exploitation and abuse within the community. So it is such a bold step. They go further to operationalize the policy and this week we are spending time together with the Silesian community the fathers and the brothers, the workers of the Salesians community to understand the policy and ensure it is operationalization so that they realize their broader mandate of reaching out to the poor uh, for development. In the context of the global world, how, how do you see the situation of gender harassment, child abuse, I think uh, in the contemporary world, the risk of sexual abuse is continuously increasing. It might have been there in the past, but now, of course, people are getting more aware and aware. And the more, and the more they get aware, the more they get comfortable to speak about it, to report cases of sexual harassment, uh, gender inequality that we see on the rise. So it's one, because people are aware, and therefore that they are aware, we need to be able to put in place mechanisms to be able to protect the rights of others. Gender is not just a matter of women, it's a rights for everybody. It's a rights issue, and I'm really very glad and congratulate the Salesians of the Don Bosco uh, for putting this in place.